Speak. Good boy. Good boy. So now you can see if I say speak, he'll bark. If I do the little hand signal, he barks. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got Freddy down here on the rug. You can probably just about see him. Uh, today, I just wanted to bring you guys a video as to how I taught Freddy to speak. Now, what I mean by speak is obviously bark. The little guy's not gonna start uh, speaking English anytime soon. Which gets me onto the first topic of discussion about training dogs. What you'll see from a lot of people when they get a dog, they will just assume that the dog knows how to speak English, so they will say sit, 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 sit. They'll say sit a thousand times, and when the dog gets bored and finally sits down, the owner of the dog will go crazy, the owner of the dog will reward the dog, and now the dog thinks that when you make this noise a thousand times and the dog puts his butt on the ground, it gets a biscuit. So the next time you want the dog to sit, you will say sit, 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 sit. The dog will sit down and you'll you'll reward the dog. Which is why you see so many people out and about saying sit, 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 or come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. And when it does finally come back, they go crazy. Well done, you did so good. Anyway, you've all you've done there is reinforce the fact that the dog doesn't have to sit or the dog doesn't have to come back until you've made that noise a thousand times. Dogs don't hear the English language. They don't hear any language. They hear tones of voice and noise. All they do then is put two and two together. They put a tone of voice and a particular noise pattern together and they're like, oh, okay, the last time I heard this and that and I did this, I got a biscuit. All I'm gonna do here to fast track the training process, now Freddie already knows how to do this trick, so this is specifically for people and dogs who want to teach their dog how to speak. So if you want your dog to come back, you can use this technique. If you want your dog to bark, you can use this technique. If you want your dog to sit or lay down or stay or wait or whatever word it is that you want to use, you can use this technique. So when I rile Freddy up and I get him excited, and I really wind him up and I like tap the floor and I grab his snoot, he gets really upset and he, he voluntarily barks at me. He goes boof, like he, he's clearly playing around, it's not aggressive by any means. And when he first started doing that, I really enjoyed hearing him bark because he's such a quiet dog. So what I then started to do was reward him every time he barked. Because I really enjoyed that behavior from him, I rewarded that behavior. And after he knew that him barking was a good thing, I put a word to his barking. So I then started to say, speak. So much like the behavior of sitting, I wanted him to speak. So every time he barked, just before I knew he was gonna bark, I would say, speak. He barked, I rewarded him. After that, I connected the word speak to a hand signal of whatever you would like to call this. So speaking. So I've adjusted the camera a little bit so you can see more of Freddy. Now, if you're trying to teach your dog to sit, the best thing to do, come here, is recognize when he's about to voluntarily give you the behavior that you want. And what I mean by the behavior is him sitting down. Sit. So as he was putting his bum down, I put a word to it. And he gave me he, he gave me an additional step there of laying down because he's just such a well-behaved dog. I don't actually have to give him any uh, voice commands because he's so good. So it's a little bit tricky to demonstrate this video. What I could really do with is a naughty dog. So you can see there that he sits. You can see there that he goes down and then I reward him. But yeah, what I was saying is that if you spot a dog going into a sit and you say sit, you're attaching that word with that behavior. It could take hours for your dog to want to lay down. But as you see your dog laying down, say down or lay down. And as your dog, as your dog goes into that behavior, reward the dog. So they now know that lay down or down is linked to getting a reward after they have given you this behavior. So as I was mentioning earlier, come here. I can wind Freddy up to the point where he barks. I put a word to it, I put a hand signal to it. Speak. 
Good boy. Speak. Good boy. So now you can see if I say speak, he'll bark. If I do the little hand signal, he barks. Now obviously this isn't an important trick to teach a dog. It's not going to save their life. It's just a bit of fun, much like when you teach a dog to give you their paw. It's just a fun little party trick. You can use this same technique to get your dog back, to get your dog to sit down, lay down, roll over, give you the paw. It doesn't matter how important or how useless the trick is that you want to teach your dog, this same thing applies. Reward the behaviours that you want and ignore slash punish the behaviours that you don't want. And over time, your dog will start to give you exactly what you want. So I hope for any of you guys watching, found this video a little bit useful. If you did, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really means a lot. Freddie would really appreciate it too. And uh, until the next one, we'll see you very soon.